Hey guys, welcome back. I'm really excited because the holidays are around the corner. So I've got a really great festive look for you guys that you can do on New Year's Eve or on like a holiday party. This look is super glam. And it's all about having a really, really nice glow. Think JLo at the AMAs or JLo anytime. <laughs> for the eyes, I'm mixing lots of like warm metallic colors because I want it to look super glam, especially for the countdown. So this look is all about the eyes. So I'm gonna have lots of like warm mixed metals, coppers and bronzes. This is one of my favorite ways to do eye makeup. So if you wanna find out how to do my New Year's look, keep watching. I'm gonna add some primer. This is a really nice primer because it makes shimmery shadows shimmerier. So I'm just prepping my lids. I'm just gonna use Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette just to even out my skin tone before I start putting on three different colors. I'm using a fluffy brush just to blend it all out. Now the real magic starts. I'm gonna be starting with Alcina's Miracle Eyeshadow in Pearl. It's just a lot stronger than the base that I've already have on. I'm gonna go a little bit over the top for this look because it's the holidays. My transition shade is this amazing copper color. It's really gorgeous. I have been using this pretty much like every second day since I got it. And even when it's like I shouldn't even be wearing makeup to like a meeting or something. I've just been wearing it every day. Now I've hyped it up so much, it better look good. I'm just gonna put it in my crease. Even though it's not very often that I'm super in love with a transition color, but this one is like super blingin'. So now I'm just gonna go in with this dark bronze color, which is also just super beautiful and really nice. This eyeshadow is shimmery, but it's really pigmented, so be careful ladies. Layer it on, play it safe. Okay, I'm just going to put this on in a V shape. So in my crease and then along my lash line. So these three colors work really well together. I'm just going to pull this underneath. I'm not gonna re-dip this in, I'm just gonna use whatever's left on the brush. So I'm going back in with my transition shade, which is this gorgeous copper color. This is really nice if you want to like stare at someone super intensely. It looks like I'm like in love, but I'm like, no, just look at my eyeshadow. I'm just going to blend it all out with this fluffy brush. When using like really highly pigmented shadows, it's always best to start super, super light and layer it on. Because once you put too much on, there's no turning back. I'm just going back in with more of this kind of chocolatey color. Now I'm just going to reapply the pearl. Since my eyeshadow is so dark, I have to balance it out with this pearl color. I don't want to brag, but this looks amazing. To anchor down the color, I'm gonna use this really nice, like shimmery camo, I guess, color from Sephora. It's called Animal Instinct, and it's waterproof, which is great because I'm gonna be up until like seven o'clock in the morning tonight. I'm just gonna go in and do a little kitten eye because I don't want to distract from the dramatic eyeshadow going on here. I like this eyeliner because if you mess up, can't see it as much. If you ever make plans with me and I'm wearing eyeliner, it's definitely why I'm late. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line. And a little bit of the stuff was a long way. Now that I have all of my eyeshadow on, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm actually going to a Christmas party tonight, right after I finish this video. I'm using Bad Gal Waterproof for my eyelashes. And I have to use a waterproof mascara for two reasons. I'm gonna be up all night and it makes my eyelashes curl. And now I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. I'm using instant brow pencil from Benefit to fill in my brows. I have pretty thick brows, but I'm not really drawing them in. I'm just kind of filling in the gaps. I'm using these really light strokes so it looks like hair. I'm gonna use a spoolie. Just blend it all in. My eyebrows are like super gigantic right now. I don't know why. To add some color to the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using this Naked Flush palette. It's nice because the colors aren't too pigmented since my eyeshadow is so dark. This is just to add a healthy glow. And I'm just gonna use the bronze and the blush because I have something else in store for the highlight. So there's sun all year round, so it's okay to use a bit of bronzer during Christmas. If I was home in Canada, I probably wouldn't use bronzer because it snows there and people are probably thinking, you're not fooling anyone. I'm just gonna use a thinner brush for my nose. I don't know why, but I like to just run bronzer across my nose just because it looks like I've been in the sun all day. Then I'm going to go in with this really kind of dusty rose color. I don't want the rest of my face to be very dramatic since it's all about the eyes. Whenever I put on blush, I do this like really creepy little smile like, because if I smile too big, I'm gonna put too much blush on. So I have to like smirk. I just look super smug. Like, 
So because this is a really festive look and there's going to be lots of Christmas lights, I'm going to use high beam. It's really, really good at reflecting light, but use this sparingly because it's very, very strong. It looks like nail polish. I'm just going to dot it on my brow bone. I'm using very little because my skin is quite dark. Put it on my cupid's bow, on my soul patch. And I'm just going to leave like that. That's the end of the look. Just kidding. I'm just going to blend it in with my finger. So for my lips, I'm going to be using Benefit's Dandelion, and this is an awesome lip gloss, especially for New Year's Eve. I kissed someone with this the other day, and they couldn't tell I had lip gloss on. What? It's not sticky at all. It has the shine of a lip gloss, but it feels like a balm. This is my new favorite lip gloss. This is a perfect one for New Year's Eve, if I kiss someone. I highly recommend this lip gloss. This is a super rare find. To find something super shiny that's not sticky whatsoever. This is my favorite part of the look. This silky glimmer body balm called Bathina from Benefit. It looks like this and it smells, it just smells amazing. It just smells like a rich lady's house. So I'm just gonna take my necklace off because this is gonna go on my collarbone and on my neck and I don't want to get shimmery stuff all over that. I'm gonna use this tiny little pillow and just Load it up. I like to put it on my shoulders and I'll put it on my leg, but you guys won't be able to see it. You guys see that bling? You guys see that hotline bling here? So, to finish off this look, I painted my nails with these two NCLA colors. This is called Rodeo Drive Royalty and this is called Valet My Carriage. So, I just put the red on first and I just put some gold flecks on it. So my nails are done, I did that before I started the video, I messed up my thumb, and I'm just going to take my hair out. Whenever I have like really insane makeup, I tend to just not really do my hair and just let it be like naturally like a giant mess. So I'm just going to let my mane down. My hair is really dry and gross. I'll do a hair tutorial for you guys next time. That's my completed holiday look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of it or if you've tried it out. I would love to hear from you guys. And I will respond, so yes, please leave me a note. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. That's my completed holiday look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> it just started to rain. It makes it more sun-kissed and more realistic. It's very... <laughs> I, think I, a lot of the brush. I think there was already some on the brush.